Hey guys, and welcome back to Zeldud's Play the Minish Cap. Last time we conquered the game's second dungeon, the Cave of Flames, and this time we're heading to the Elemental Sanctuary. Yep, where we'll be upgrading the White Sword into something a different color, essentially. <laughs> so, something not white. Yeah, yeah something we'll not see. white. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is a very, very cool area. I love this. Sword chambers, so, no, chambers? Sword chambers in general in Zelda are really cool. Yeah. But I think this one's This music's especially hitting as so. well. Uh, uh huh. Really love the vibe. And the yeah, room looks really and cool. Sword. And you got some weird cheese soldiers. Uh, holding their sword. I mean, it looks like, I don't know why. It looks like their heads are yeah, right? little pieces of cheese and they're like... Little blocks of cheese. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you Maybe think it is? What, what, it, what is it? They're not wearing hats, right? I don't, I don't know exactly what I'm looking at. You're right. I mean, the fact that there's four obviously says something about... It looks like they're dabbing uh, with the sword in their hand. <laughs> and they have like cheese heads. That's it. I think that's probably what they were going for. Actually. Yeah, you know what? The original yeah. four sword hero, <laughs> heroes, whatever, I don't know, um, yeah. were actually cheese men, believe it or not. Confirmed <laughs> there, here. There you go. Yeah. You heard it here first. Yeah, yeah there you go. That's a, a copyrighted theory, that one. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, shall we? Uh, let's plonk the sword in, All see right. what happens. Yep. So, yeah, as cool as this white sword with its green hilt is, we don't get it for long because. Yep. Uh, Kind of drinks in the energy of the elements. Yep. It first turns and purple from the earth element and now red from the fire, so. Um, exactly, yeah. yeah swap so we go through the phases quite quick. Yeah. And here we go. We've got, uh, what's it called this one? So earth and fire. Oh, maybe it is. Already is it still a Pokori blade? blade? Let's see. I have no clue. Um, oh, no, no, no. So it's, it starts as Pokori blade, but then ends as four sword, and that's not till the very end. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. I think it's just gonna be called white so sword we'll still and tell you, yeah, two elements. Oh, yeah, yeah white it's sword the blank us. canvas of a sword, and you add the elemental colors. <laughs> there you go. I mean, that's kind of how it worked in Skyward Sword, right? We uh, we had the white sword for a bit before the goddess. Mm -hmm. Was it goddess white sword then goddess long sword? I think it was. Um, yeah, yeah. But it's it, it's cool that we're doing it again. Zelda this time, not well. with the master. Exactly. Sword. A uh -huh. bit confusing because you're like, wait, wasn't the game the origin story of the master sword that we did in Skyward Sword all about? You know making the blade that will destroy evil. Why are we doing it again with this <laughs> yeah. sword? But now we do it again with another magic sword. Yeah, yeah what, right. at least, uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. And again, everything that happens in the Minish Cap is contained in the Minish Cap's universe. Uh, kind of bleeds to the Four Sword games, but that's it. No other game really uh -huh. references the Quarry Blade or the Four Sword or any of this, but it's still cool. And it's awesome that we're able to experience exactly. this origin and have, like, the forging of a new blade again. Um, in yeah, this, uh, and it is a cool sword. And uh, this is obviously... The four swords signature ability yep. is to, so you get a magic to create gangers of length. Yep, you gotta uh -huh. charge it up. So you get a magic meter and mm -hmm. you've got another, uh, a copy of Link that stays exactly where the tile was that you copied him on. Yep. Uh, and he can fight for you, he can Step press on switches, down switches yeah. but he'll vanish if you walk him into a wall. Or, or if, if you ran out, yeah, you were about out. to run out as well. So it's kind of, you can't tell which happened there, but... I think you ran into <laughs> There you the go, I showed first. both at once. Yeah. That's efficiency. Um, but yeah, it's a cool mechanic. I do find it a little bit clunky the way you got to charge it all the way. Yeah, two time consuming. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you have to wait for ages. But uh -huh. then, you know, it is quite cool. But having um, like a spinning image of Link that replicates what he does is so cool. And um, yeah, it's essentially like Link has kind of, you know, he went Tianshin on us or Naruto or something. And has like a, <laughs> yeah. a doppelganger of himself. Like a, an after image yeah, thing. Yeah, literally, yeah, yeah it's so uh -huh. cool. Um, and yeah. like, uh, later we figure out that that is actually in reference to, well, technically this game happens before the real Four Swords, but do the Four Swords want to uh -huh. reference what this Link did or? You know, I, yeah, exactly. It's a bit like, um, you know, like the, the Loftwing, uh, sorry, yeah, the, the red bird on the Hylian shield being retrospectively fitted to be Link's Crimson Loftwing. Yeah. It's the same with the Minish Cap, because it was developed... So it was after Four Swords, although I think their development did kind of overlap a bit. Uh-huh, but, but anyway, it was meant to be its origin regardless. Adventures. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah, so this is setting... Okay, <laughs> I was like a <laughs> pixel away. Um, this is setting up a lot of the, the classic Four Swords element, yeah. uh, elements, like the Four Swords and the Four Links. Mm -hmm. um, 
So when you look at it, this yeah. is like the true origin game to the multiplayer Zelda games. And it's a shame we don't have more Four Swords. I would have loved the Four Swords to be a full exactly. spin-off of Zelda <laughs> games. And, oh, oh, nice. I forgot. We're already here. Something's happened. Yeah, so yeah. huge, huge um, story like like a plot reveal for our companion right i think we're gonna we're about to learn exactly all about, yeah so i'm um Ezlo. all about Ezlo, yeah. yeah so a mysterious voice says calls someone his old master and i wonder who's referring to uh-oh this looks familiar yep it's here he it's is <laughs> the edgy swordsman himself it's Varty, yep. and he's uh insulting one of our clothes. I don't know whether it's Ezlo or us. Um, yeah. And he's talking about his curses, yeah. He didn't have much room to speak. He's also wearing a purple cap. And, yeah, I, I mean, that's yeah, true. <laughs> he looks a lot like Link, yeah. yeah. <laughs> looks like Dark Link. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. And he's saying, his curses can never be broken. And Ezlo says, I should have never created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Hat that grants is the grants the wishes of its wearer as a spectacular creation. So yeah, there's a big, big lore dump here, big story dump. Um, yeah, apparently Ezlo created some sort of cap that has granted Varty his powers to become the greatest sorcerer alive. Yep. Um, so yeah, at the moment we don't know the story, we don't know the history, but we know that something's happened between Varty and Ezlo. They know each other. Ezlo was apparently Varty's master and created something that is. Well, created Varty, basically. Yep. Uh, and, and, of course, Varty sets his dogs, no, his pigs on yep. us. And it's so cool to see, because these are uh, literally a reference These are just the Wind, Wind Waker. Wakers. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, and their design is so jarring, because like they look really detailed for this game, because they tried to you know, turn these uh, character designs into pixel art. But it worked. It worked perfectly. It worked so well. Yeah. Even there, you see when those rocks disappeared, it was those... Uh, the little Wind Waker puffs of smoke, you know, the little swirls yeah. from the Wind Waker. Yeah. Uh, that carries over here. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, uh, we won't be confused for long. Here, Ezlo offers us an explanation. Yep. So they were both Minish. So they were the Pikori at one point. Ezlo was a famous sage and a craftsman, and Vati was his apprentice. Yep. Uh, and then he became enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men, which is a little bit rich that the, the Minish are blaming mankind for their own... <laughs> Issues. Apparently, yeah. Varty became obsessed with how evil men were and decided to become evil himself. So, I don't know. Um, but yeah, stole the magic cap, which granted him his powers. So here we see a cool cutscene. So there's, looks there's like a Varty gnome as hat. a Yeah, as a little baby. <laughs> or like yeah, right? also younger, right? He looks younger here. Um, Ezlo. Yeah. Or no, Vati. Um, Vati looks. Ezlo looks old. Oh, I mean, <laughs> what? Ezlo is not looking. <laughs> Why does well, Vati no, Vati look like, looks, I don't know. He looks like a baby without his just, hat. I think it's just without his hat, he's looking <laughs> like real young. I think that's just meant to be his like minish form. Right? Oh. Or maybe, no, I suppose. Well, he did say he was just a boy. No, you're right. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Like, not just a Pikori, so already small, but then a baby Pikori, yeah. so even smaller. Oh. But yeah, he's stolen the magic cap. And yeah, that just turns him into an adult. Oh. And there you go. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. What vile form you've taken. Yeah. So he's not, yeah, not happy with being Ezlo's apprentice. Yep. Okay, so this happened on the anniversary of the Pikori Festival. Uh, on the, uh, no, not even the Pikori Festival. Once every hundred years, the, uh, the Minish worlds and the human worlds are linked mm -hmm. by the doorway, which we saw in the Elemental Sanctuary. Uh, and he wants to use this link to travel to our world and steal the Light Force, which is what we saw at the start of the game. Yep. And, uh, yeah, this is why Ezlo <laughs> looks like a hat. Yep. He just changed. He got cursed. Yeah, he's like, screw it, I'm just gonna uh -huh. turn you into a hat, which is so weird that that is what he decided to use, a sorcerer's curse. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Interesting, yeah. yeah like, Do you think I took your all hat. He's capable You're a hat, of right? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> That's all yeah. the hat gives him. <laughs> nah, I mean, clearly gives yeah, him a right. lot more power, but uh, it, maybe it's but like then, karma. Yeah, Ezlo, Ezlo created the mage's cap. Maybe yeah. Picori magic or Minish magic can, it's all hat related. Or magic, he's like, maybe. you're so obsessed with hats, become one. 
<laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you want to make an <laughs> ultimate hat? Why don't you become? The, and he essentially does yeah. become that, though. You know, he couldn't make the hat, uh-huh. or he lost that. He became the hat. You know, he is the uh-huh. the true magical hat that we need. I, I, A.K. He just yaps <laughs> a lot. He does not offer anything else. But. Exactly. He is the Minish Cap. Yeah. But he's explaining the the Pakori's gifts to mankind. So obviously the Pakori blade, but then the light force, which is what Varty wants. Um. And yeah, like I said in, in episode one, the light force is, it isn't the Triforce, but, you know, for all intents and purposes, you can kind of think it of that in that it's just an incredibly powerful golden triangle. Mm-hmm. But there are differences in what it actually is in its history, uh, which we get a little bit more into later, um, especially right at the end of the game. We get a lot of light force stuff. Yep. Um, but yeah, Ezlo kind of blames himself for Varty, which makes sense considering he I like how he sucks created himself him. back onto Link's head, though. Like that animation <laughs> is hilarious. Yeah, right. I didn't want to think of it that way, but maybe that's why it didn't fall off on the minecart. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> it's like so stuck that if you don't pull it off, you'd like literally rip off yeah. like, like the top of his head, like with the skin yeah. and hair. The scalp comes with it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there you go. It's uh, Cool that Ezlo describes his little story as a fairy tale, because yeah, this like I was saying, this this game is kind of a fairy tale Zelda game. Um, and the story is a bit bizarre. Yeah, I turn into a hat, you know, like hard to buy. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. But it just it, it works. I think you know it's enough story for a two D game. Yeah, um, no, I love this. So charming. I think I love it. Ex- that's I th- charming. I think is the right term because yeah. like the, the the actual story isn't particularly extravagant or gripping or anything, but I think the charm of it and the world and the kind of yeah, well, I suppose yeah the world the the universe of the Minish Cap is just so like believable and mm-hmm. and you know like look at Hyrule Town. It's just this it's, it's just great. Oh, Everything about yeah. this is great. Might as well um, clean it up. But here we got yeah. a bit of a. <laughs> A dusty rug, which uh, we can clear. I mean, we could have cleared it up before the last dungeon, but um, nice actually, before up. I forget, um, before I forget, let's upgrade our. Um, oh yeah, the wallet. Wallet. Uh-huh. Yeah. Can you steal from this guy like you could in Link's Awakening? No, no, it, it doesn't even let you. Leave, oh yeah, because but... he's staring directly at the door on like Link's Awakening, where you uh-huh. can like walk behind him. And this now, which is cool, also because you notice a a pot. And, uh, you will be able to come back yeah. here and do some minish like stuff because he literally has technically that pot exactly. over that upside down pot is essentially a portal uh, to the minish. Yeah. Uh huh. So oh yeah, true. We haven't actually used one of them yet. So we've used tree stumps, rocks, and weird kind of uh, concrete bits. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but uh-huh. minish designed portals or like man designed por- portals. Now we got more just like obscure things that you find, like a pot that's upside down and can somehow do it. <laughs> Um, exactly. Um, but yeah, we've still got these two more elements that uh, we need to find and imbue the blade with. Mm-hmm. Um, Anything so we can do in the... Hyrule Castle Town, though, while we're in? Exactly, here? yeah. There's a decent amount of things we can get done in I love, Town. I so. love just messing around. I'm not lying. Probably the, the most memories I have of this game and the most nostalgic I get is it's just... just yeah, looking, running around Hyrule Looking Town. for stuff to Same. do, whether it's Kinstone fusions, whether it's just literally speaking, like, because there was a lot to do here. Like, they really made, because uh-huh. most of the NPCs, most of the interaction they'll have with uh, other characters are here and solely here. The game's kind of barren elsewhere, but because of that, it just makes it like a hub area, and it's, it's so nice. It's so comforting. I Literally, the music of this area is just so beautiful, and yeah, I get so nostalgic. Okay, new score uh-huh. technique. Nice. New sword technique, yeah. So this is, is it's really cool that Minish Cap has this. Yep. Um, it feels especially very similar 2D. to like Twilight Princess. Yeah, so uh, exactly. Because like uh-huh. never had, he just has slashing, you know, in front of him. You know, that's it. That's all he has. In this game, they're like, let's uh-huh. give him a move set that makes him yeah reminiscent of Wind Waker's and, and Twilight Princess so, with Tiger Scrolls. Yes. With Tiger Scrolls, yeah. So, I mean, that was probably the most boring example of yep. a hidden technique. But really um, cool because I think we might... don't you feel like you're missing something when you can't break the pop shield? And it's cool that you have yeah, to learn exactly. that. That, to me, is really nice because uh-huh. when it's just given to you, you don't appreciate that change. And, like, you know, you don't feel yeah. it. So it's like, I do, like, yeah, the Rock Breaker Tiger Scroll, super cool. Okay. And now, yeah, you can't, you, yeah. Not nothing yet. yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is cool because it, it, I, I felt it, especially coming back to like a fresh Minish Cap save. You, you do feel kind of 
like muted at the start. You can only walk and slash and roll, but that doesn't really do much. But then by the time of the end of the game, when you've you've got all of the Tiger Scrolls, not just from Swiftblade here, but also his brothers uh, who are hidden around Hyrule, you've got so many options. You've got so many cool moves you can do. Um, which is, is just so great. Yeah, and the um, diversity with the moveset is actually really appreciated in a 2D Zelda game because usually you're just, just, again, just hitting B until you find a weak point, you know, on the weak point, that's it. It's, it's nice to have an actual moveset you can kind of, you know, switch up and use. Um, yeah, definitely. But here's first, a, this is an example of... Yeah, random thing stone. Oh, oh okay. okay, so there's rupees, I believe, right? Like, there'll be, yeah, like, they are. snakes. That's interesting, uh -huh. yeah, that one. Um, so, wait, where did that, was that? I didn't see which It looked part like of Long Lawn Ranch, or underneath Long Lawn Ranch. There you go. Oh, yeah. east, okay. We could, I mean, we could do that now. They're wait, very wait, annoyed. Wait, but double it, check and see if there's any other uh, stone. Like, you know, oh, yeah, okay. Well, who's that? Yeah, speak to her. Um, oh, there you go, that guy. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is the guy who gave this us the, the Kinstone back yeah. at the start of the game. Yep. Uh-huh. And we were saying, like, you know, wondering who he was, whether he's... Related to the happy mask salesman or the uh, the windmill hut guy from Ocarina of Time. Yep. But Zelda Law, um, always big shout out to Zelda Law in in the comments. He pointed out what this guy is, and it blew my mind. This isn't a human. This is a minish. Oh yeah. Look at, this, look at the shape of his face. Yeah. And obviously he is a he's a kinstone man, which is obviously a, a minish thing. Um, and we he's a just a kind of big minish. So. We know that humans can shrink down to minish proportions, uh, and at the end of the game, we do see some minish that are human size. So yeah, what if this is another one? What if the hurdy gurdy man is a minish in disguise, kind of spreading the the joy of Kinstone fusion? Uh huh. And that's true because he does just literally have their face, so like beady eyes and like pointy nose. Yeah. It do, like kind of looks like a mouse. Yeah, a exactly. That's what I think of when I think of the minish. They do have mouse like you know faces. So. Exactly, that is interesting. But it, it also kind of is not surprising. I mean, yeah, he'd probably be a minish than anything else. This mysterious dude who's giving you kinstones and having you do stuff that is, you know, otherworldly for normal NPCs. So I'm sure this guy is magical in some sense. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, exactly. I mean, wait, can, can you reverse you the pot? Can't you do that? Or, I mean, does it matter? We can, yeah. Because yeah, you yeah, have so the cane. We can. That's, um, yeah, we might as well show it off. So. Yeah, this isn't just a pot. If we flip it, yep. it's a Minish portal, uh -huh. which is amazing. It's so cool. Uh, um, we do see an animation for this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think this uh, you see the leaves on there the we pot, go. right? Yep. Uh-huh. Um, there you go. They break That's much more fall. satisfying than the one in Cave of Flames. It's weird how there isn't one, yeah. It, it's a shame because, there's again, yeah, there's right? so many uh, animations for turning into a Minish. Uh, with other items like this pot, but then yeah, then all of a sudden there isn't. Oh, it's so cool. Uh -huh. It's literally like a, a little mouse home, you know, in like, you know, a hole. They literally live like mice, you know, with how they're like yeah. hidden away like this. Uh huh. Oh, but yeah, look at the, the kind of shape of their their faces mm -hmm. um, compared to the hurdy gurdy man we will see in a sec. But yeah, it's, it's just so cool. So they're explaining that they can overhear conversations or whatever because. Most people won't notice, but there's a little minish hole here, and they make their interior decorations so out cool. of yeah, teapot, you know real world things. So yeah, a teapot and uh, their the, rug. the menu. It's like a menu. Yeah, little uh -huh. menu. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. and what are, are these like postage stamps? Or right. Something oh yeah, wall? yeah, yeah. Literally. Um, that's their decoration. Yeah. It's, it's so just, cute. It's so charming. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we can go up here as well. Mm -hmm. Which leads us up here into the wow. rafters. Wow, yeah, and the detail here is so uh -huh. dope. And the way you can see everyone underneath, like, yeah, this, this is so cool. Okay, he wants to fuse. Um, nice. And perfect, nice. the okay. pizza slice. The missing pizza, pizza slice. Pizza slice, yeah, so this is a red one, which are one of the ones that, which aren't random. So this guy will always want to fuse this. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, and it's opened up something in Hyrule Castle This is Gardens. so cool, it changes actual parts of the game's environment, and like, okay, so literally yep. now, there's no longer a fountain here. It's a, a secret pathway that you can enter. Um, uh-huh. And here we, here we get an example of different types of Minish, so this guy over- wait, this guy is- uh, okay, well, yeah. They say they who like the other the guy red is. hats. Yeah. This is a town Minish. Yep. This is a forest Minish. Just like there uh, are. The, and they both uh, like the minor Minishes. I say they, they look the coolest. Uh -huh. They have the spiky, cool hair, and uh, easily uh -huh. like, they look so badass. 
how cute's that? He even says the forest minish have come for a visit. Yeah. Like they just kind of pop over whenever they want for a cup of very small tea. Yeah. And okay, we don't have the right shape for this, so we'll have to remember. Um, I don't think even the green the green ones are random. I I don't know if once you try and fuse with someone, the game will remember what they wanted, or if they can change. Uh -huh. um, also, I don't think we can do anything over here. Let's yet. check out all the enemies uh, this time. <laughs> enemies, but yeah, I'll show you where it goes. You can just drop here. Uh -huh. And this is how you get nice, back here. Yep. Um, <laughs> and he thinks he can recognize, uh, he thinks he's heard someone, but probably not. Uh, oh, actually, the shop has the boomerang available, so we should get that quite soon. Yep. But yeah, there's nothing we can do back here for now, um, but we will be able to at some point. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to remember that you can you can come back here this way. And okay. If you turn a human fight behind him, will he just kick you out? Or I don't think he does, you know. I think he just says, like, I actually don't know what he says, but I don't think he kicks you out. Let's have a look. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. He okay. All right. Oh. Egad, I knew someone was there. The boys only. Oh. But okay. He's kick he you out. Yeah. So the only way yeah, out is way turning back into rules. a minish and yeah, walking out. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, and he he doesn't wonder where you went or anything. Yeah. Just yeah. As long as you're not back there, that's that's all that matters. But again, I love seeing oh, all the okay. food and all the just, like random things. Yeah, like, like a yarn. spool of thread. Yeah. Or, uh huh. Um, yeah, how like the pin cushion. Stuff. Yep. Um, oh, it's great. It's it's so great. Yeah, seeing like the the, the um, true bite-sized world of you know this town. Oh, yeah, it's just so well done. It's, it's it really feels like two uh -huh. different worlds. Oh. Uh, we wonder if there's anything down here we missed. It probably takes you out. Um, yeah, and you can oh, this takes explore. you out. Okay. Yeah. You want to do that? I mean, yeah, you can so see if you want to trade yeah, with that little chick. You can see this, this little baby person, chick. Ah, uh, they do. So this is a, I can't remember, this is a red or a, oh no, it's a green. Okay. Which we also can't do. Uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. But it's but cool because you can't walk minish. up certain steps. So oh, like yeah. you can only explore so much as a minish. Um, in uh -huh. Castle Town, because there are certain areas you can't explore, but you won't be able to do too much. Which is super cool. um, Another thing that's cool about the Minish that, again, reminds me a bit of a uh, Twilight Princess, um, is that Minish can talk to cats. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. This cat doesn't have much to say. Uh, yeah, the Minish can. Fuse. There you go. Would you like to fuse kinstones? So yeah, the Minish nice. can. Oh, nice. We've got this. Yeah. So yeah, we're fusing with Purry the cat. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the Minish can talk to animals, uh, which is cool. A bit like Wolf Link can. Uh -huh. And uh, I assume this is this just a chest, or is this gonna spawn an enemy? Or a door? Okay. Okay. Nice. A chest. Cool. Okay, so we've got two things in the Minish woods. Um, but yeah, it, it is handy that it, because there's so many fusions, it is handy that it it puts a little marker on the map, uh, so you can remember. Yeah, that'd be exactly a problem if you didn't was. have it, because, yeah, you'd easily forget. But it's so cool. I mean, easily the kinstones are one of the best features within the game because of, um, like, the amount of things they give you to do throughout the game that you wouldn't have without it, you know? Just, like, new collectibles, new things to find, all of that. Um, yeah, exactly. Because I think they're actually one of the more, like, divisive parts of the game, but I, I love them. I think they're so good. Mm -hmm. Like I said at the start, um... He's got like a chess piece yeah, here. Look, he's got a, a knight here. Uh -huh. um, yeah, but I think the way it makes you talk to everyone and, and interact with characters you might just ignore otherwise, I think is great. Yeah, no, Zelda uh, needs more of this. Like, um, uh -huh. where it, it has, you could say meaningless side quests that just pad out the game and give you more stuff to do and more collectibles. Like, it just, it just makes you, yeah. Speaking of meaningless more. side quests uh. that pad out the game and give you meaningless collectibles or whatever, it's like oh, the here biggest we go. example. Yeah, the definition of it. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's, yeah. let's make use of it. I mean, we, we might as well start. I don't know how many mysterious shells we've got, but yeah, this is the figurine gallery, which like we said a couple episodes ago, Unfortunately, this does give you a piece of heart, so you do need to do this. Mm -hmm. um, and it is quite cool. Uh, it's just very long, and there's no way to speed it up, so you would spend a lot of time here, unfortunately. Yep. Um, but yeah, you kind of bet mysterious shells for a go on this gacha machine here. So we give him some shells, and pull since, the lever. And since you're guaranteed to get a new one, because you never got one, nice, uh -huh. it's a Yoshi egg. Yeah, no matter what, you should put one. Nice! The big green and there we go. 
So then you get a figurine of an enemy, a boss, or a character mm -hmm. from the game, and a little bit of lore. So here we get Big Choo Choo, appears in Deepwood Shrine, yep. a perfectly ordinary Choo Choo. Though not much of an enemy usually, they're terrifying to anyone Minish size. Yep. So yeah, there you go. So that is a cool way to kind of learn a little bit more about the Minish Cat's world. Like, yep. How many shells do I have? Um, 71. I'll do a, uh, let's let's do, like, a couple more. Let's we'll um, use them all. Okay. Like, uh, uh, we're okay. gonna wanna get them all, hopefully. And yeah, luckily, just keep doing guaranteed 100 for now. Um, yeah. Luckily, with this being on Switch Online, if it push comes to shove, we could uh, save state it, you know, and create like a thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, though it is oh. cool. This all together is I'll very, skip the lore on that one. This is very, very similar to the Wind Waker's um, also, like, you know, statue collection. Like, you can get pretty much every enemy and every character. But It's very similar. Yeah, it's this even the same guy, right? It looks like, yeah, uh, the, the model looks similar, but the, the Wind Waker's oh, are so much better this. because um, you had to take photos of it yourself. It wasn't like oh. gacha. Like, okay, it breaks breaks the fourth wall a bit here. Uh -huh. They've appeared in every Zelda game to date. Nice, that is really uh, Obviously, That's a cool description. Because yeah. this game, yep. this game was before Twilight Princess, which uh, broke that streak. Yep. Um, but yeah, sorry, what, what were you saying before that? No, yeah, no, no, all I was saying is like, but the, the difference between this and the Wind Waker is Wind Waker is more fun to do because you have to take the photos of the enemies yourself and characters. Way and then more you, fun. Yeah, Way turn more them fun. into the statues. Unlike in this game where it is just gacha based. But because of that, you can get uh, statues that you've never encountered, right? Like you could get anything. This game could spoil things or no, is the only stuff you've encountered. I'm pretty sure it's only stuff you've been. That would make sense because imagine they just to... gave you the final boss, like you'd be like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. No, I th I don't know how the game judges whether or not you've interacted with. Uh, I uh, okay, maybe with Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, uh, it must just be if you've if you've seen them or fought them or whatever, or interacted with them if they're a character. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, well, there that, you that's go. Just disproven my and theory. There because you go. Yeah, we, we never... have not. <laughs> we have not seen this guy yet. Uh -huh. uh, an old man plagued by an evil spirit. Coming to his aid will bring you benefit in the end. So if you meet him, you must find a way to help yep, him. Yep, because this is so, yeah, so this cool. Is, um, this is one of the coolest quests within the game because, I mean, should I spoil it or in a way? All I can say is there's two outcomes to this guy's quest. Let's just say that. Yes. Uh, yeah, he, he... Which is um, rare in Zelda games, especially his early ones. His quest involves a missable item. Yeah, which... Like, yeah, you really don't get many of them in Zelda games. But yeah, if you don't do his quest the right way around, you can miss out on something really cool. So we'll make sure to do that. Yep. Uh, but yeah, Red Egg seems to be character. Okay, so we get the Carpenters. Mm -hmm. uh, they do good work. They seem tough, but <laughs> they're in touch with their feminine side. Good for them. Weird thing to say about them. Right, they seem more? like the complete opposite, but... Uh... Still got 47. Yeah. yeah. You still got plenty. You use, I mean, you're going to get so many. I think like this game, the, the literally, you can have endless because you can find them also by just farming casually, right? Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's no big deal. And uh, our goal is hopefully to collect them all. No promises, but I mean, it's doable. Oops. <laughs> we, we don't <laughs> really need a description read of... the lore of Boulder. <laughs> I don't think we need a description of Boulder. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine that you skipped over <laughs> there that. There might be some deep boulder lore, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, what if it said, like, the Gorons form from it or something? Okay, that'd be interesting. That would actually be cool. Yeah, yeah. That, that doesn't sound like a, a Luke theory. That, that sounds that, like that's actually quite cool. Unbelievable, yeah. <laughs> Here we've got Festari, a Minish living in Minish village. He speaks some human language. Yep, we spoke uh, to him. He sees that Link is human with one like, Yeah, we have, yeah. So, yeah, it's weird. I, s I wonder if it... Okay, because we got the spirit for uh, the spirit. We got the figurine for Gregal. Um, I wonder if it's just figurines of things that you can have interacted with at this point in the game. Because now we can technically go and see Gregal um, if we do the right sequence of things, which I'll, I'll try and do after these figurines. Actually, um, it's behind the Kinstone fusion. Um, so yeah, I. And um, these are apparently called pestos. Yeah. Cool. Not flies. There you go. Now we know. Not flies. Pestos. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I, I reckon it is then. I reckon it's things that you could have interacted with. Uh, go on. Let's, let's punt the remaining Yeah, gamble. Even if it's not 100%, you know, let's just see what uh, we get. And Almost. 91. Yeah, we're gonna I like get those it. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Anything uh -huh. over 50. Nah, like that'd be... Maybe not. But like, anything over okay. 60. Maybe. 
Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, nice. Oh, oh okay. I thought it was a hurdy gurdy man. I thought we were going to get some lore, but it's Zill and friends. Zill's the one with the drippy nose. Likes to wander around town with his friends. He knows a lot about Hyrule and he might even give you some tips. Fantastic. There you go. He's still Booger Boy. Yeah, he'll always be Booger Boy. <laughs> He's not Zill. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, let's really quickly just go and see if we can do that fusion because that's a. Uh, that's the most interesting one. Oh, oh the dog, you have to turn yeah, yeah. Of course. So it's interesting, yeah, yeah, you can't away. visit the side of town until the dog leaves, which is so stupid. Uh -huh. Um it, 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 it just, and it's logic even. Like really? There's no other way around this town. Uh, except through a minish. So yeah, up until a certain point in the game, the only way to get to this part of the town is by being minish. I think it's, it's what Intel used. Minish. I wonder what the minish Is it fusing? Yeah, that's it. Oh no, there you go, you just speak. Yes. Uh, wait. Wait. And nice. Okay. And you have it. And we confuse with Growler. Okay. What does this one do? So this is a blue one. This is always. Okay. So that's what North Hyrule Field or the Palace, um, Castle Gardens or whatever maybe. Uh, North Hyrule Field. Okay. So we can go check that out. Did he say he'd move? I think um, so. I think okay. so. Yeah. yeah. There you oh, go. Oh yeah. There you go. So, so yeah. You, get, you just right, gotta you just really speak, speak to him. You just gotta. Speak to him, which, uh, yeah, you can't really speak to him if you're not a minish because then you can't understand each other. Oh, okay. I mean, this guy wants to fuse now. Nice. Oh, okay. Let's look out. Uh, we do need to, we, we need to find a way to get more kinstones at some point, which you do, like I said, you do kind of. Okay, I thought. Uh, yeah, I imagine. <laughs> You do kind of passively get kinstones, but um, there are a few ways to kind of to grind them out as well. But yeah, this guy, he wears a little bit uh, a little bit of a different outfit to most people yep. in Hyrule Town, and that's because he's not from Hyrule Town. Hopefully, no. Okay, we don't have the right kinstone. Um, we could. Uh, what, buy take, one actually, no. We, we, I was gonna say yeah, because uh, there's a way to. To kind of grind kinstones out here in the bakery of uh -huh. all places. Oh yeah, I forgot uh, about that. But we've only got we've only got twenty rupees. So why don't we go? Why don't and find yeah, golden... go get the yeah the gold um, snake. At least do that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go see where he is. Um, yeah, so the gold enemies are quite cool. Uh, they're a little bit like the gold enemies in the Oracle games. Um, but yeah, they spawn from kinstone fusions, and they're just more like, they're just more powerful versions. So. No, they're they're super fast and yeah. they take a load of hits to die. Uh -huh. uh, but they're worth but it. But they are worth it. Uh, oh, there you go. There yes, you, you get a gigantic blue. rupee for killing them. Oh. 100 rupees, there you go. That's quite nice. Um, At least you have the wall of space to kill these guys. You didn't max out. Yeah, right? Um, so, yeah, do you want to try and get the yeah. red rupee? Yeah, or? screw it. Because, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, and you can always then, you know, if you need more rupees, you can always, uh, you know, just kind of explore uh, the other open Yeah, I've got areas. a few. Yeah. Exactly, I've got a few chests. Do you want to create a save point here as well, or not? Do you want to play it legitly? Let's play it legitly, I think. Okay. Um, I used to love, this, I mean, I love this, the detail here, the croissant, the pie. Oh. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks good. The eclair? But I'm assuming This is one of the... Or, Something. Yeah, right. Well, like, a, I think like they a tell donut. you what it they is, are. Right? Yeah. I think they tell you, but I can't remember, so let's try and guess. Well, that's like just a bread roll, right? Or it's just a bread roll. That's what I was saying. Or it's an eclair. That's what I was thinking, but it probably is. Oh, or an eclair, yeah. yeah. Uh, croissant or croissant. Yeah, croissant. Or whatever really you want to say. Croissant. <laughs> that's a croissant, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I have one? Uh, <laughs> croissant. <laughs> Croissant! <laughs> Imagine you got ordering French that, it but, up. Yeah. <laughs> you come up. That's a pie. Uh, that's a sandwich. There we go. There is. You don't have to do an accent for those ones. Yeah. yeah. Is that um, a sandwich? The last one looks also like a pie, but like with different flavors. Oh, in it. maybe a slice of pie. Yeah. Either way, a bakery. I, I love. I don't eat bread normally anymore. But man, oh my god, this, uh, this bakery is getting my. <laughs> Even Ezlo said it smells good, yeah. despite him not really having a nose. Um, His beak. But yeah, uh, I, maybe he has. Oh, it's a brioche. Okay, so it's kind of. Oh, so okay, just a brioche. Basically. Okay, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. It is just bread, but, but it looks like a, a donut as well. Um, uh huh. It looks good, but despite how good this place looks and smells, I wouldn't eat here because you need to have giant special of metals twist. In. <laughs> yeah, their special twist is that you buy things. 
<laughs> there might be gemstones in them, which is... I would... What are they, like, I stone mind. plates? Yeah, you take a bite and yeah, then imagine you get a little hard thing, but hey, you won. <laughs> Yo, it's like the gacha, it's like the cereal, bro. Have you ever eaten, you know, cereal with the prize in it and you actually took a bite of the prize and you spit it out and you're like, oh, okay, I got a toy, you know? That's happened. You just spit out your, yeah, your teeth, come out with it. That's yeah, happened great. before, right? So it's like, <laughs> it's kind of like uh, that. <laughs> but as far as I can remember, I think the odds of... I don't know whether you get better odds the more Are expensive, they more expensive? Yeah, things are they? you buy. Yeah, like uh, this one should be more than... Let's see how much they want for this. Oh, this is a expensive cake. Why is it green? Let's say it did look like a, a pie or cake. Oh. Um, not a cake. Let's go. Let's, I mean, see what, let's see what it is. Um, Oh, so it was like a tomato uh, and, another green, and, yeah. and lettuce sandwich. <laughs> okay, you got another green. I thought you were going to say a lettuce and tomato cake then. I, I no, love those Bobby, because you said it was a sandwich. Yeah. I can see it like, you know, being like that pre-packaged type uh -huh. of triangle sandwich, but... No, do, do the croissant, man. You know, like, can I get one <laughs> croissant? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I need to... Okay, put that there. All right. Can I get a you go. croissant? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm being bullied for being British. <laughs> it's not our fault we're so close to France. Yeah, that's just the either. one word. You, get, you couldn't just say, like, croissant or something. Like, why'd you have to go yeah. croissant, like, all the way? Like, <laughs> just, and we didn't even get anything from the croissant. Wow, wow. <laughs> Damn. So now we're out of rupees. Uh, no. Yeah, I feel bad suggesting. No, it's fine. It's all right. Um, there's still a decent amount more we have to do in Hyrule Town um, before we make our way down to... Mm -hmm to where the third element is, but I think it's probably time to, to call it for this episode. So, we'll see you next time. Yep, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers, guys.